The son is still asleep when neurosurgery residents arrive at Carilion Roanoke Memorial Hospital. I usually get in around 5.30 or 6 in the morning. We have a, a list of our, our patients that we have to see um, that are either pre-ops or post-ops or trauma patients, just kind of a variety, and we split the list. And every day is a little bit, little bit different. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I'm Chris Bush. I'm with neurosurgery. Hi, my name's Cara. I'm one of the residents with neurosurgery. I'm just checking up on everyone this morning. How you feeling? How are you doing? Let me turn this light off for you. We'll check on you later. I'll let you get back to resting. And then when we get together, I've seen my section of patients, and then I report how they're feeling, how they're doing, whatever new lab values or imaging has come up for them since we last saw them, and then kind of make a plan for the day as a team. It's always, everyone's checking each other. It's just to make sure at the end of the day that you take care of that patient in the best possible way. Next, the residents go into surgery, where they're partnered with neurosurgeons like Dr. Marvin. We do maintain a, a very rigorous program here. Being able to juggle multiple crises and multiple different issues at one time is we see very paramount to being a, a good and solid and competent neurosurgeon. The residents also have other duties outside of the hospital, from tumor boards to caring for patients in the clinic to the classroom. You have academics every week that you have presentations that you have to create. You have your research that you have to be working on outside of your normal duties at the hospital. And after a busy day at the hospital, Dr. Bush will take his turn on call. You know, sometimes you'll have no surgeries in the middle of the night, other times you can, you can do four or five in the middle of the night. Um, it just kind of depends. A hectic schedule, but these residents wouldn't have it any other way. It's, it's non-stop, there's never really, I mean, there, there's downtime, but there's never really a dull moment. We're incredibly, incredibly privileged to be able to do this type of work. I mean, you have patients that are sick, 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 you know, knocking on death's door that you can truly save, and that, that, is, that is what it's all about. That's what makes it worthwhile.